I wasn't ready. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. I was anyway. Oh. Legend <laughs> of Zelda is out. How do you guys Yay. like it? It's also very, episode... very good. Yes. Welcome to episode three hundred thirty-seven. Question yeah. mark. Uh, Zelda came out four days ago, I think now, right? We've all been yeah, we're living in a post Zelda Tears of the Kingdom world. It's now out. It's like the second coming of Jesus, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Not according to Twitch chat. If you only it's read Twitch easy. chat for everyone playing Zelda, you'd think it's the worst game ever made. It is legitimately nothing but complaining about the game from Twitch viewers Why? on every single. What? Because the game's too popular, so they have to complain about, like, every single thing that they think is wrong with it. It's just complete fucking nonsense. See, the only real complaints... Why... Yeah. The only real complaints that have merit are 30 FPS, and it looks like shit because it's on the Switch. Like, the graphics. But the I art don't think direction it looks helps like it. shit. Yeah, it's still, like, the art direction yeah. makes the game look good to oh, me. Oh, the art direction. I love the... Even if you put this game on a modern console... On like the PlayStation, I would still like this art direction. I don't want like a modern. Oh well, yeah, just of Elden course. Ring. Just go play Elden Ring if you want that. I like this art style, the lighthearted, cartoony shit. But, I yeah, will agree with FPS Twitch chat. Also, yeah, yeah, I will agree with yeah. Twitch chat on that. Like, I would much prefer this game be running on solid hardware. I know we've beaten the Switch to death at this point, but yeah, it, <laughs> it really does show its age, and the frame rate mm -hmm. is not great. Oh yeah, in uh, it, Tears of the Kingdom. For me. The amount of frame drops I get when I'm trying to, like, use a fused weapon or a long, like, bunch of fused shit is crazy. Yeah, it's very annoying. Um, but, like, it's a testament to the game's design that all those issues uh, fade away and you just enjoy so much of the core game design, uh, well, even with those Fade issues. away, you mean you learn to ignore it, yes. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. And God help Game's you incredible. if you climb a tree and the leaves go like transparent, so you can see your character. That's when it dips the most for me for some reason. The frame rate, um, but it's not been that bad, I guess. Maybe I'm developing Stockholm syndrome. I'm trying to find excuses to defend the game, but it's just so much fun. Well, it's not like it's any worse that, like, than all the other games releasing as well. It's probably still in a better position yeah. than most AAA games that release on other consoles in terms of performance, anyway. So. Yeah, that's, that's not really that's not a good excuse. I'd rather they all release it with a salt rock solid <laughs> thirty frames or sixty frames, depending on hardware. But still, yeah, it's it's. But Charlie, fine. also, this is why Jackson and I don't play these types of games on stream. We just want to be in our zone, without people nagging us. I guess I've been enjoying this game so much. I don't think I've binged a game like this since the last one. I think this is just a like five hours. Yeah, this is literally just a better Breath of the Wild, and Breath is, of the yeah. Wild was already amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was more mid on Breath of the Wild, like I could understand why people liked it, but it wasn't, it didn't click for me, really. I didn't even finish it, but Tears That's of the crazy. Kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom has hooked me, and I don't know what it did differently other than creating a more robust, uh, like, sandbox that's more interactable, uh, that's immediately engageable, but... Uh, yeah, the Tears of the Kingdom is just like, it, it does feel like a way better Breath of the Wild. Everything that Breath of the Wild kind of like failed at is still kind of there. Like I don't, I still don't love the combat in the game. It, it doesn't like necessarily click with me, but everything else that's good about Breath of the Wild is here, but even better, basically. Like the world feels so alive. I like alive. the combat. I just hate the yeah. weapons breaking on you after you'll like kill that's, two that's monsters a core and element. your weapon just explodes. I know, that is a core so element of the combat. So if you don't like that, then you've got <laughs> issues with the combat. <laughs> it just uh, yeah. feels very blue balling. It's I'm fine with the weapon durability being in the game. Uh, it kind of makes sense for like the sandbox, but it is tuned to be so aggressive that it's very annoying at times when you you can't hit things more than like three times before the weapon explodes. It's quite annoying. But the, the the best thing about this game, I'm sure we've all seen it, are just the raw amount of memes and videos that have come out uh, based around the Ultra Hand ability. Just the amount of interesting yeah. things people have cooked up. It's made me laugh on so many different occasions. Like uh, me and Kai have been sending them to each other back and forth, really. Uh, there was one video where like someone crucified a Korok and, and dragged him around the, the Hyrule cool, world. Yeah. With religious music in the background, it made me laugh so hard. I think we all did. 
that's like the default go-to that you yeah, think of when you see like two sticks in a Korok and you realize, oh wait, I can stick this thing to stuff. I hate those Koroks. I hate those missions. Same. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> those little fuckers deserve it. Uh, yeah, it's so annoying. Great. I get separated from my friend. Fucking die. It's so annoying to... At this point, I just manually carry them over because it's just not worth the hassle trying to come up with some device to shoot them That's up a mountain super, or whatever. That, that is a much more tedious way of doing it. You can just not ultra often, hand them. Some, I, I know what you mean, but I think there was one where it took me like half an hour to get the balance right. I think it was in the snow region, the Rito place, where you had to like fly one across a chasm to his oh, friend. Yeah. And I just got so annoyed with that little fucker. <laughs> and you need them you need them to get the two Korok seeds because that's what expands your inventory and you need the inventory space because you run out of weapons constantly mid-combat because they break after two shots yeah. it's too aggressive it is too aggressive my solution for durability was the only thing that breaks are fused weapons that's the only thing with durability and then you could just have like a normal catalog of weapons that don't break like every other open world uh, sla uh, hack and slash kind of game, or make it repairable or something, yeah. or use the Minecraft formula system, where you yeah. can, where you can repair it anytime you want. But also, if you die at the wrong place at the wrong time, you lose it forever. I would settle for that. Right now, it's just it's. You know how when you find a really fun weapon, you're supposed to feel some joy. F to me, that just feels bitter because I go, "Oh, this is a really sweet weapon." Oh, but it's gonna break into hits, so. I guess I don't yeah, get to use it. Yeah, well, I should just no keep it in my you inventory. get attached to the weapons that you use, really, when they all break so quickly. Or feel like using them. Yeah. I, I legitimately, like, never use my weapons. Like, right now, I'm hoarding so many fucking weapons, it's it's pathetic, actually. It makes me upset. Mm -hmm. Someone says you can repair the weapons in chats, but I With, haven't seen it's, that. A, it's tedious. You use an Octo Rock, you feed it to an Octo Rock. Oh, well, they had that in the first game, too. Yeah, I remember that. That is tedious. Yeah, that's not, like, something that will... Be... Again, you, you can do that, but then when you're on a mission in a cave somewhere and you hit a monster twice, it's going to explode anyway. And it's so frustrating, especially when you're in the middle of a combo. Like, if you're swinging around the big meat cleaver-type weapons, the two-handed, and you're doing the charge attack where Link turns into a Beyblade, basically... It's like so satisfying to watch that, but then in the middle of your fucking charge attack, it just explodes it just in your explodes. face. Yeah. yeah. And then you're stuck, and it doesn't even like auto select the next best weapon at no, least yeah, or you're something. Just... You're just standing there with your <laughs> hands empty, and Link looks at his hands like, what do I do now? Like, I don't know, punch at least. So <laughs> they could have at least given you like a melee attack. He just stands there. Yeah, I find it's that so happens with bows a lot. The, the bug, I when know. a bow breaks, I'm sat there, like, clicking the right trigger, trying to figure out why the fuck I'm not shooting like The controls arrows. are already, like, way too overcomplicated for somebody like me. And I, I still, four days later, I still find myself going, shoot, 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 why aren't you shooting? Oh, my bow's broken. Damn it. Bow button, up, or, like, left arrow, right arrow, whichever is the one to select the bow, select that, and then you have to select your arrow, and then you have to fuse it, and then you have to shoot. It's just too much. We did the thing again. We said we love this game, and now we've talked for 10 I minutes know. about the things we don't like. <laughs> well, the game itself is awesome, obviously. It just, like I said, I'm not a big game person. I think this is the first game that I like kept playing for like. This is the first game I've hours. ever, I've ever like in seven years, eight years of knowing you, Kai. This is the only game I think we've ever actually talked about that i've been excited for yeah i mean i, I yeah. finish games on stream like if i play one of those night was it night or quantum dreams or whatever those goofy story games i'll finish those and i have fun with like life is strange but on my own time i would never play those or at least not play them past like a couple of hours this i, I think i almost 100 percented the last one wow. breath of the wild i just i couldn't yeah, find damn. all of the fucking koroks and you did that without but, the incentive of achievements Oh my god. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's, no, how, how I don't give possible? a shit about achievements. The, the fun <laughs> part about that was just the shrines. I really, really enjoyed the shrines. Yeah. Which is another small little hitch in this one that annoyed me. In the starter region, you they like trick you into going into all these tutorial shrines. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll go in there like, oh, sweet, a shrine. You know that feeling when you find a new shrine and you're like excited for the puzzle yeah. that awaits oh, you? Yeah. And then you go in and it's like, oh, here's how you move forward. Here's how you take your shield out, and the text is so slow. Yeah, but I know, you're the stuck text there is so now slow. because you need the spirit orb. 
Yeah, that's yeah. frustrating. But yeah, I love the shrines. I just I love the exploration. I love all of it. I'm one of those guys who also maxes out his stamina before getting any hearts, Same. so I can do the maximum amount of climbing and exploration. Climbing, yeah. Uh, and flying, the, just so much. The, qui- fun. the quickest I can get to the point where I can just like keep jumping up a, a cliff side without running out of stamina. That's that's my yes. focus. Essential, essential. I do not want to slow climb, but everything one shots me now because I don't have as many hearts as I should. <laughs> <laughs> like literally one shots me. Like normal mobs in the world. Yeah, me same. too. I'm my playing entire- on like ultra hard. My entire playthrough, every single mob kills me in a single shot, even at full health. At the same time, this does feel a little easier, though, without spoilers. How do I even explain this without spoilers? So in the last game, you would um, solve the temples. I think they were called the Great Beasts or something. The the, the Divine Beasts, yeah. Yeah, the Divine Beasts. And then you would get the champion powers, like you had a shield, and then Link could create an upward gust of air, air. In this game... It's pretty much the same, except you get those as, like, ghost companions. Yeah. Like, the champions actually join you. I'm not going to tell you what their powers are, but they base- you just run around with, like, a ghost gang. Yeah. And they just <laughs> beat up mobs for you. <laughs> so you can yeah, actually yeah. sometimes engage entire gangs of mobs and just kind of run around while they beat them up for you. Which is cool, but also... I don't know. Sometimes it makes it too easy. Sometimes it also gets annoying because they get in your way. Yeah. While that's, you're trying that's to pick something issue. up or if I've, got, if I've got like four of the ghost dudes around me, it gets pretty hard to see because they're all like fighting in the like middle of the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've just I've just dismissed a few that I don't uh, enjoy. That's about... Yeah, it took me yeah. a minute to figure out how to dismiss them too because you have to actually go into the inventory and yeah. select their item and dismiss. <laughs> it's not convenient. All right. Uh, what, what's... Let's let's be really positive for a second. What's your favorite part of the game, each of you? I trust the exploration, just the new stuff. The I, so freedom from all the to make crazy yeah, the freedom. shit. Yeah, the freedom to build crazy shit. Initially, I was very skeptical. I even told Jax like the controls for this seem a little overcomplicated. Like I'm rotating that. What is this blender? I'm building 3D shit now. This seems excessive. But I'm over no, that it's now. So good. It's a lot of fun now. Yeah, it just is dropping so rockets good. to shit. <laughs> the the um, freedom to engage with the puzzles on your own kind of level of creativity yes. is just, it's it's so different than how like other games do things that it it's it's incredible. Like you can really tackle problems in any way that you can come up with, and that feeling oh, yeah, is so fucking rewarding. It. Yeah, the, like, like other the game other video you games to cheese it. Yeah, yeah, and they allow for that. They incentivize it almost. They're like, here's a problem, do whatever you want to overcome it. Whereas other games are like, here's a problem, we have one or two ways to tackle this problem that you're Even forced the to shrines, do, basically. Some of the shrines, they give you one item that you have to use to mm-hmm. solve the puzzle, but in other shrines, they give you just a bunch of fucking shit. They just give you a bunch of, what is it, Zonite items? They're just going to yeah. well, figure it out, I guess. Build something that works, idiot. Um, My favorite part of the ge- for part of the game is the, uh, the 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 shrines goat see you when you enter them. I love that. Uh, that that's gonna oh, be intended. Yeah. So I'm not the only one who saw goat see. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, yeah it absolutely. Just does look like a gaping <laughs> ass. The little shrine is spreading yeah. its arsehole. It's like got hands right in front of it as well. It's great. Yeah. Um, I've just seen the again. rumors leading up to the release were kind of misleading because everybody everybody said, oh, it's the same map. It's going to be the same map. They're reusing the same map. And I was actually getting bummed out, like, really? The same map? But what well, turns out, actually, there's a shit ton of Sky Islands. And also there is now the Nether Realm, the Minecraft Nethers, as you can enter them, which is, I think, straight up ripped off from the Skyrim caves. But I dig it. It's a lot of fun to fly around down there, which is huge. I think it's as big as the uh, surface. Overworld, yeah. As well. I yeah, haven't, so I haven't really touched the underworld the sky, yet. Oh, it's great, but it's kind of dangerous. It just, it just feels like Minecraft, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the lunch tables at a middle school. Oh, it's really cool, but you, it's scary down there. You're, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, can you come over after after school, Kyra, and show me in person? Do yeah, I can enter the cheat stuff. code. It's a B A B A A B B. <laughs> Andrew, I've been having like childlike fun. Yeah, Andrew, you haven't spoken in fifteen minutes. So I fear we've put you into a Zelda uh, coma. Yeah, because I haven't played it yet. 
Are you excited? Yeah, has sure. all of this <laughs> has all of this made you excited to finally play it? Oh, I took my headphones off. I don't want to be spoiled. Oh, really? Well, there was no yeah, spoiler. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a spoiler. Oh, I, I didn't hear anything you guys said, so it's totally fine. I don't know what there would be to spoil. Like, well, the locations. Like, spoilers. The, uh, well, what I don't think people knew about. I don't think people knew about the uh, second element of where you can go before release. That gotcha. was a surprise to people. Mm. It's um, fine. It was I, I just don't me. have anything to say because I haven't played it yet. That's all. That's fair. But yeah, I've been well, enjoying you play it a lot. I Why are you waiting? To, I just fun. haven't. What? Why are you waiting to play it? I have not been home in like four days. Well, it's on a Switch. You can play it in the air. You can play it on a plane. True, but Mother's Day weekend was this weekend, and I've been spending time with my mom. You should have played it with her. <laughs> yeah. She takes one Joy-Con, you take the other. She's a hardcore mm -hmm. gamer, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm going to play it very soon. I just haven't sat down and played games in a while yet, so it's, it's what I'm going to be doing next time I fire up a game. But I've just had a lot of stuff I've had to uh, do instead. We Family. unanimously love it, so you better mm -hmm. as well. I can mm -hmm. oh, it'll I'm be the first I'm excited. Game. I'm definitely, definitely excited. Like, I'm, I'm super invested. I just don't have anything to contribute because I have not actually played it yet, and I haven't been watching any footage because I knew I was going to play it. It might be the first game that we unanimously agree is, like, a masterpiece, the four of us. Well, I have to hate it then. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, can you counterbalance us? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go in with a really negative attitude to try to, you know, tip the scales back to balance. Okay, that's good. I think we pointed out the only negatives, right? It was the FPS yeah. and some of the, like, minor... Just the durability thing is so frustrating, but that's about it. Yeah. The exploration I would is recommend fun. it. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Some <laughs> of the... Jackson called it Japanese-isms, I guess. I don't know if that's a, what <laughs> they're called. Said that? <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Well, now I can well, join no, this no. discussion. Jackson, <laughs> what is a japanese -ism? No, no, like a Japanese well, game design holdover kind of thing. Yeah. Well, well mm. when the text like lasts 10 seconds on screen and you cannot skip it, and it's so frustrating, you just have to sit there and stare at it, telling you stuff that you already know, tutorial-wise and, and such. Or like the fact that... um. When you beat the temples, it it's gives you the same exact cutscene. Cut yeah. 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 Uh, except mm. narrated from a different character. <laughs> and they it's take like, like so 10 lazy. minutes. They take 10 minutes yeah. of something you've seen three times already. Oh, I just skipped skip those. Yeah. So Once I realized here's, you can. That's not the intended experience. Here's so where I can jump in in relation on this. A game that I have been kind of revisiting in the past. Maybe, maybe the idea of this type of game has been building up in my head. But Elden Ring... Mm -hmm. has been on my radar again. I've been watching some new speed runs, some new tech, new challenge runs, etc. Would you say so far this game rivals Elden Ring? Rivals for sure. I like it way better. Okay. I okay. like Elden Ring more, but I I think it can at least be in the same conversation as something like Elden Ring. Hmm. Because uh, it's I, just, to me, so, it's so just I how think, impressive... I ahead, think... Jackson. Sorry, I just think Elden Ring obviously has better combat. It's, it's designed to be a combat game yeah. foremost, um, difficulty included. Uh, whereas Tears of the Kingdom, entirely freedom-based, like that, that sense of creativity. Uh, right. And that's, that's what I more appreciate. So I'm going to lean towards Zelda personally. So what oh, I've seen... Me too, by far. That's what I've you're seen, a bubble blown little... double baby. <laughs> Juice gets to go into the chasms. Uh... A very little of what I've seen from looking at the stuff like memes on Twitter and garbage is you can create stuff, put stuff together. There's a lot of tools, a lot of variety in how you tackle things. But with Elden Ring, it's not so much variety in how you tackle things. It's variety in how you play, like you change your build, your style of, you know, doing damage, etc., etc. And I'm wondering what creates a more immersive experience what will be heralded as the better game in years to come what do you mean immersive i mean zelda's just much more fun because you get to build whatever you want you can kill any boss however you want that's the fun to me is well, yeah i mean jackson sent me this one video of somebody using the time reversal skill to beat up a giant boss with like 
a tree stump and two rocks that look like a dildo. It's just fun to experiment mm -hmm. with shit like that. Whereas in Elden Ring, I guess you just have to memorize the attack pattern. And that's about all it is. I don't know. I like this much more. It's lighthearted, fun, so much exploration, so much shit you can do with like the combination of elements and items. I think one that thing though that Elden shit. Ring, I think one thing though that Elden Ring will always also be able to laud over other games is the PvP and the fact that not only do you have that entire gigantic, in-depth, well-designed world, but you have a whole PvP aspect as well with all these different builds and combos and things you can do with it. We'll just wait till the next Zelda game that introduces the Colosseum. I think that'd be amazing. I think that'd be horrible. Zelda combat is as simple <laughs> as it gets. That'd be the worst no, PvP well, ever. Well, yeah. I think it'd be pretty cool if, if you're constructing like robots and giant killer penises if you had a yeah. robot arena oh, in the game. That would yeah, be cool. Like, yeah, that would yeah. be fucking yeah. awesome. I would yeah. like co-op in one-on-one -on -one battle Zelda. would be really lame because it would just be two people slapping each other with exploding weapons for an hour. I, I think the like greatest... Device, yeah, the greatest gameplay I can think of right now in the world is if you hop online to the Zelda robot arena and you build a robotic penis and you randomly find a player who built a robotic vagina and it just works out perfectly. That would be cool. Would be I mean, awesome. that's the magic of Hyrule. <laughs> that's the legend of Zelda right there. They should have like a racing mode where you build your own carts and shit. Oh, planes. like a, the Red Bull Soapbox Racing Annual? That'd be yeah, <laughs> like a like Dragon Cart from Yakuza. Uh, well, uh, Link does appear in Mario Kart 8. You're not that far off. Just add some DLC. Oh, yeah. They do have his little yeah. horse cart, horse bike in there. Does they the get... game let you um, sign up for ExpressVPN while you're playing it, though? It's you the can. only thing holding it back that it doesn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> this game could have been a 10, but it's I'm going to drop it down to a 7 because yep. it doesn't let you use ExpressVPN. Well, let me tell you all about ExpressVPN, folks, because it'll work on your internet connected devices. And to listen to this show and to listen to the three men complain about how a video game, I don't know, is too much fun, the inverse of that, <laughs> you probably needed the internet. And to get on here, many of you out there listening probably needed a VPN. Now we try not to region lock our content. We try very, very hard to make sure that every person on every corner of the planet is able to listen to this show. But that is just not the case when it comes to all content. There are certain streaming services, certain internet providers who just say, nah, you don't get to look at that. Uh, that website, no. Mm, this show, regional license, yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, what's that? You want to look at this thing and it's not available in your country? Oh, yeah, mm, yeah that's just, that's never going to happen. Sorry, champ, but with ExpressVPN, you can be from almost any country, wink. You can also make sure that your information is encrypted. So that way ad companies cannot target you and use your data. They also will not sell it to all the tech giants and create this infinite feedback loop of destroying privacy. It's just a good idea in this day and age to browse the internet with ExpressVPN. Works on phones, laptops, even your router, so everyone who shares your Wi-Fi will automatically be protected. All you gotta do is open up the app and click a button. You also just have to go to expressvpn.com official to get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com official for extra three months for free expressvpn.com slash official and now that you have finally made the pilgrimage to safe comfortable unrestricted internet and you maybe even use that internet from your router to connect to the servers for tears of the kingdom you could build yourself in that video game and, and trust me, I, I talked to Shingeru Miyamoto himself he said this is possible you can build a Harry's Razor but if you do you have to make sure that you only select the finest materials and you have to make sure that it's German engineered and that you get all five blades because if you get the starter set at Harry's, which is a $13 value that you can get for just $3, by the way, you're going to get a five blade German engineered razor with a weighted handle, foaming shave gel and a travel cover and replacement blades are going to be as low as $2. Harry's not only has the highest 
customer satisfaction in the entire shaving industry, but they'll offer you a no-risk trial. If you don't like it, send it back. Let them pay for it. Don't worry about it. Shave your face and go, oh, I'm so ready to return this. And then you look in the mirror and go, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a fantastic shit. Never mind. I'll take two travel packs, please. Because that was amazing. And that travel starter set is going to be just $13. If you're not listening to the show, but just for you, you handsome viewers at home for $3, you can get that starter set by going to harrys.com slash official. Get the starter set for $3 at H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash official. Save the hassle, set up your delivery, and get the best quality shave with Harry's. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, are we are we done gushing about Zelda? You guys yeah. got everything mm-hmm. out that you need to get out? All right, before, mm-hmm. before we end, what would you rate it out of 100? I'm not spoiling the moist meter, you Oh, you fuck. tricky bitch. I tried to get I'd it out of you. zero. Oh, nice. Zero being the highest, of course. Zero being does not apply. Yeah, it didn't yeah. didn't make my cut because I can't legally review it yet. Okay, they got the Andrew stamp of approval. That's good. The stamp of it's a game. It qualifies <laughs> as a video game. That's about it. I'd give it an 85 or a 90. Probably a 90. What about you, Kaya? Mm, 75. Oh <laughs> what the fuck? That, that was a lot harsher than I expected that to be. Kaya hasn't a played a video game in me. 30 years, and he loves this one to death, and he's like, eh, 75%. Yeah, C-, it's C-, C minus, it's, it's fine. <laughs> the issues are still issues, and I think game developers should be punished for them. Like, I struggle a lot with the what? camera. It annoys me a lot. <laughs> Because this game, for some reason, it does the up op- like you know how in other games when an object is obscuring you, the object kind of turns transparent so you can see your character. This does the opposite. For some reason, it just hides Link. So during boss battles, I keep losing Link because intermittently he will just not be on screen for me, and it just really annoys me. It's that, and it's the FPS drops sometimes. So I have to cut some score points. Sorry. All right, yeah, that's fine. What would you rate Worms? That's fair. Just so we can compare. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Armageddon in its current state? Yeah. No, 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 no. The best Worms game you've ever played. What's it rated? Well, that's Armageddon. I don't know. I, it's ancient, though. That's not really fair. It's not even under development anymore. Well, review it, to review it at the time of release. Then. Yeah, I wasn't re- even alive at the time of release. It was like 1997. <laughs> it was like six or eight. Your, okay, your your best experience with Worms Armageddon throughout your life compared Compared to your current experience with Zelda. Yeah. Oh, 100. I mean, my best experience was just playing a shit face with my friend group, so that's that's not even a fair comparison. I mean, Zelda's single player and everything. Zelda loses a whole 25 points because you can't get (laughs) drunk and play with your friends. That would be cool if you could, though. Yeah, Yeah, co-op would actually be cool. What's the battle bot arena? Nintendo, take notes. I want want little constructs duking it out like battle bats. They have the ghost companions. Instead of that, maybe you could let my friends join your game, right? Just hot yeah. them and just I, them into the sandbox would be so fun for like co op, like genuinely. I like, know, if you could, you could do the world together. With a yeah. Do you remember? I don't know what they've changed in the new game, but do you remember how there was a half baked, uh, I guess it is companions, but there was a half baked like companion system. For example, if you had the Wolf Link amiibo, you could have Wolf Link follow you around in Breath of the Wild. Did you guys ever do that or see I've that? I've never touched mm-hmm. amiibos at all. I've okay. never touched an amiibo in my life. I have so touched you... amiibo. I have all of them, but how... what? the amiibos only ever give you items, not the actual amiibos, Jackson. No, no, no. In, like in, them, in Breath but... of the Wild, if you use Wolf Link, the Wolf Link and, and Midna amiibo, it creates a little companion wolf that follows you fuck? around. Yeah, that's that's a thing. It's, it's like a half-baked feature they never finished because so Wolf Link shows up in the game and he's got full animations he makes noises he's got three hearts for health he can die you can respawn him he attacks enemies he finds items he does all this stuff but if you do that there's a tooltip that pops up in the loading screens and it says wolf link comes to you from another dimension and because of that other characters cannot see or interact with him and he <laughs> will pretend they don't exist and it's them trying to explain we never programmed him to actually be in the game we just threw him in there so he's not going to interact with anything no he's from a different dimension andrew yeah. Yeah, that is the actual canon reason 
But Nintendo is, tried. But, yeah. They wanted to give him interactions, but the dimensions wouldn't I'm allow it. I'm not seeing it. Wolf Link among them. So I use an NFC emulator to just... Oh, okay. That NFCs. makes way more sense. I thought you actually bought all the Amiibos, like a Turbo Redditor. I was like, really yes, Jackson. Nah. That sounds like me. No, <laughs> That's what I meant. On, That's super you concerning. On, you you like just a hop on eBay and you buy the card. People, people make cards of Amiibos for like two dollars each. You can just get whatever you want. You don't even have to do that. Just download them onto your phone. I think every modern Android and iPhone nowadays can emulate NFCs, and then you just go on the mm. internet and you can. I'm not going to give you piracy guides, but you get the point. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you don't have Nintendo. to buy Amiibos. <laughs> what Kaya is saying is you go to Nintendo.com slash Amiibo slash detail slash Wolf Link Amiibo and you purchase <laughs> it as it's released and available in stores and yeah. you pay full Wolf. price. Better buy multiple just to be safe. Yeah. It's, a, it's an like Amiibo baits. Wolf Link with, with Midna on its back. And uh, yeah, it makes a it makes a little wolf in the game who's just kind of I mean, there. That's better than what all the that's other cool. amiibos do because all the other amiibos is um, I have some of those cards too, Andrew. And you look at it and mm -hmm. it's like eight bit link, and then you hold it onto your controller and it just gives you a bunch of like it gives you a chest with yeah, rains fruit, right? Or like swords, or, or depending yeah. on the amiibo. Yeah, yeah, or fish, that sort of stuff. It just gives you free items. It's really, really, really right. lame. Has there ever been? a truly competent or worthwhile use of Amiibo in a game yet. I've oh, never touched I've an Amiibo. So I don't the know. only one I can think of that's kind of interesting is how you can have a Smash Brothers character who levels up as you use it. But even then, that's... Eh, okay. Yeah, Anyone? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never touched an Amiibo. Uh, well, I, even if just, a, you don't have to use it yourself, but just like looking up what they do and what people do with uh, it. I'm more of a game. Funko Pop guy, Andrew. <laughs> uh, you're doesn't a GameStop fan, you, then. Doesn't it give you furniture and uh, animal what, crossing? What was that fucking yeah? For some I reason, know. I wanted to say Event Horizon, and then I started thought to thinking about that movie. Um, I don't know. I've also never used them really. It's also kind of cheating. It doesn't feel satisfying to use an amiibo and get like 27 fish raining on you. Yeah, it, br it yeah, breaks my game. immersion when you like factor in all the dimensional breaking that Wolf Link brings with him. I'd prefer to just stay in one dimension. Okay, final question. Do you guys think it's worth 70 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I just wish it wasn't 70. Yeah, because yeah, I already bought fair. it, so it better be. I'm... Uh, man... <laughs> I don't care about the $70 increase unless, like, the games are that bad where they shouldn't be $60 in the first place. Like, $70 feels like it's fine for video games to move to for me because of, like, inflation and well, shit. Well, if the, if the quality improves with it, but, I mean, this is 30 FPS, like, it, it, it didn't need to be 70 they, It's not like they did any kind of crazy new jumps or leaps. 30 Could FPS at it. best. The, at best, yeah. On a good day. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, the increase would be fine. Me. The increase would be fine if the quality also went up with the price. But like the price of bread has increased, and it's the same quality. What kind of comparison <laughs> is that? I'm saying inflation of products exists. Like that's that's just a thing. I mean, yeah. some, well, for yeah, some the... reason, for some reason, video games have uh, avoided that entirely, whereas all other products, even in entertainment, do inflate. Yeah. I mean, that's mostly because video games are a frivolous thing. You can't really tell people not to eat. But, like, yeah. the, um, movie tickets have increased as well, stuff like that. Like, it does... Other forms of entertainment do cost more now. I don't, I don't understand how video games avoided it. For so long. It's been $60 since, like, forever, right? Since the 90s. It's been $60 for a long time. Yeah. For a well, very long time. Maybe back in time. the 90s, it shouldn't, been, shouldn't have been $60 either. So, so here's my thing. Uh, they avoided it, obviously, by adding copious amounts of like microtransactions and all that kind of shit. So what I'm fine with is a price increase for box set for box games, but you can't have it both ways. You can't then include microtransactions as well. And Zelda doesn't have microtransactions, so that's why I think I'm fine with it. Yeah, that's fair. I guess. Well, I mean, do so those count as microtransactions? So would you say that a game can be 70 without microtransactions or 60 with micro? 
Oh well, I would prefer free with microtransactions. If you, get, it's so fucking offensive to me that I pay sixty dollars for a game and then it's loaded mm. to the ass with content that was obviously meant to be in the game, but is then cut to be sold piecemeal through <laughs> microtransactions. Like yeah. it's, that is like everything yeah. now. It has infected everything. Was it you, Jackson, that put like a link in our topics channel to Mercedes? I think yes, um, paywalling <laughs> the oh, speed yeah. of their engine in one of their modern cars. Wasn't yeah. it heated seats they paywalled? No, that it's too. Go fast I think it's as well. both. Oh wow! Yeah, it's all. You you can't, it's, you can't, it's a simple turbo mood. Turbo mode. Mood. It's a simple not mode. only of of the fucking game industry, but of the entire modern world. I'm so goddamn sick of everything being a subscription instead of just a thing you buy and own. Fucking, I, I, I just found this, like, I just was reminded of this again last night. Fucking Adobe. Like, I know we talked about them well, a lot, did. but last night I was just having all these issues with my fucking Adobe subscription, which I only got because they're starting to crack down really, really hard again on illegal fucking copies, and I don't want to spend every three days getting a new one, and it's just like, why am I paying for this every year just for nothing. They're like, oh, your subscription gets you an additional 200 gigabytes of storage in the Adobe Cloud. For $10 a month, I can get two terabytes on Google Drive. Like, it does nothing. Oh, God. Yeah. It didn't even... Okay, at this point, there's, they're gonna start adding features that I think might be worth the subscription, I guess, because they're partnering the with AI. NVIDIA to add a bunch of AI stuff. Yeah, right. Like, but still, but eventually the other they products do... are gonna get that. It's like, you know, DaVinci Resolve isn't gonna yeah, be they, they also behind. already They also already remove features that don't come with the legitimate. I don't know, like, if it's just a problem of whoever's taking it out, but if you get Premiere through uh, certain non-scrupulous means, you cannot use GPU rendering. You can only render via CPU, and it's like, oh, we have to be connected to the Adobe Cloud to use GPU rendering. And it's like, well, that means That's that my weird. render times are going to be five times as long if I don't. So I guess here's your money. Cool. Well, you should no. be honored to support them. <laughs> yeah, I should feel privileged, yeah, like a Marvel fan. I'm still happy <laughs> that I dropped them. I, I've never looked back. I, I remember bitching to you guys like three years ago about some payment dispute i had with them because they rejected my credit card and then they just they refused to take my fucking money and i canceled my subscription they did i mean and at some point i just said fuck this and i started looking for alternatives and i've never looked back never used adobe anything since then not even their pdf like tools fuck that if it's if it's a service, I understand a subscription. Like with streaming, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. You only get our access of our streaming library as long as you pay for it. I get it, I understand. But when it's a product, when it's a thing that you personally own, it makes no fucking sense. Like Mercedes makes no fucking sense. You <laughs> own that car. Sense. If you buy that car, that is your car. They no longer can at any point be like, nope, give it back, it's ours now. <laughs> So but why anyway, is the pay subscription to raise the speed? Isn't that what a car lease is? <laughs> if you lease it, if you lease well, if you it, lease I it, guess yeah, but if you I buy get it. it. Yeah, but what if I buy the car? But you've only bought it spec at zero to like eighty miles per hour. You got to pay extra yeah. for those. Additional <laughs> They're gonna miles. say they you technically the starter own. model. Oh, God. See, They're that's just, that sounds like a fucking scam to me. Of course, it's a scam. And you're just but that's how <laughs> renting the horsepower. Yeah, that's how. That's how they rationalize it not rationalize it but like and, and then it. the question is what how long until everything is rented like with the how digital distribution works it, i feel like we can justify everything being called a rental and not owning well it. yeah it's it's that's the direction we're going absolutely because uh -huh. it's a service it's a form of monetization that directly benefits the people getting the money obviously like they make way yeah. more money by renting or selling rentals or, or subscriptions and they would just by selling it. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to, I want to, of course, I want to, of course, dick ride Valve as I do once a month. Okay, uh, I was reading not that long ago what Valve's plan is if Steam gets shut down. If, if one day Steam is just gone, like their servers are never turning back on, Valve is defunct, whatever. And everyone was like, well, we have to connect to the Steam server to play our games. What, what do we do? And Valve has explicitly said, you know, we can't reveal the details of our plan, but if that ever happens, we have processes in place to have you get full ownership of your games. 
Like, Oops. we will give it to you full offline or Gabe however. Gabe usurps the US government or something that uh, yeah. had, like, uh, overcomes <laughs> protection laws. He's, he's the president, <laughs> yeah. We can't talk about it, We have, but we do have processes in place. Valve has, we like, have agents military in the cool field heads. working tirelessly. But, but even just them outright stating, look, if that comes to it, we'll figure out how to give you your product and have you own it, even if it's somewhat bullshit or who knows what'll happen, makes me feel better than every other company on the planet saying, nope, here's our license, we own it, and at any time, it, we'll just pull it away from you, fuck you. I mean, it's not yours. Va Valve, is, Valve is pretty good, but isn't that still like an empty platitude unless they tell you exactly how they plan to make good on that? Yeah, just, yeah, like, just, in, just in a way, it could tell be. us a nice lie. Yeah, okay. even well, even good. if they're just this like, has never lie to us at all. <laughs> even, even if they say, "Look, we haven't updated that since 2001, so we're going to send you CDs with all your games on them." That'd be fine. That'd be better than whatever the fuck else everyone else is doing. Well, are they legally allowed to do that? I guess if you own it and they can prove it, then yeah. Well, yeah, you own the game based on their their TOS. Well, wait, don't don't all games currently come with like a. a user service agreement thing that basically says that you're just renting it and that they can remove access to the game at any time. Well, that's, well, that's usually that's like game, online games. That's game dependent. You know, if you buy an old game through Steam, you're not renting that game at all. But if you buy, there were, that was the whole games as a service issue we talked about where, uh, oh, I'm blanking on his name, but that guy made a, that really incredible documentary on it where basically, around the 360 and PS3 era, games started coming out with those user licenses and they were like, hey, by the way, at any point, we can just pull the plug on this thing and you can never play it again and we don't have to explain shit to you. And that's what a lot of old games are like. Old, not even just multiplayer games, but single player games that required a connection to a server. And that server is defunct, like Ubisoft and EA, they just take the server down and you can never play it. Battlefield Bad Company 2 is in the news right now because they're removing it. They're turning all the servers off and never turning them on again and not giving the players tools to run their own. So you will never be able to play that game online multiplayer ever again. See, this is it's part why, of their agreement. This is why Worms gets 100% because you can run your own server and people just yeah, join Yeah, but there's also servers. other games you can do that in too, like uh, Gears of War. Like the first Gears of War, it's all uh, player hosted. So yeah, it's all peer to peer, yeah. so, mm -hmm. which I think is just uh, like, I think every game needs dedicated servers, but there should also, of course, be an element where you can still do like a peer-to-peer -peer host your own server yeah. kind of thing. So we yeah, it should be an option. It yeah. should be an option. It's not optimal though, because then you're always going to have terrible connection uh, consistency. Not if it's Which the main fine, form of connection. Put the, yeah. Also, I think they put that boilerplate in any service now. The we can revoke service at any point for any fucking reason. Your doctor can probably execute you at any point if he chooses. So it's probably somewhere <laughs> in the documents you sign. <laughs> They just put it, it in. Just oh. harkens, well, you... It harkens back to that fucking dystopic nightmare where that article came out where it was like, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. <laughs> it's that, like, that's who wants heading. this? That is actually where we're it's it, it's it just is, economic but forum. who wants it? Who wants to the live people in a making the money. you own nothing? A lot of people want that, Andrew. A lot of people, oh. they love the convenience. Do you think people stop even for a second to think like, wait, why do I have Google Drive automatically installed on my Android or Netflix? No, they love it. They go, oh, I can put in my password and all of my shit is on my phone now. Awesome. I know, I know. I love uh, it. It just takes a little bit, a little bit of learning. Just a small smidgen of computer literacy and you can own and have everything already. you want. I'd rather Did we talk about this, that like Zoomers apparently don't even know what a file system is anymore? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we did a we did. while yeah, back, okay, but, yeah. Yeah. but it's definitely a thing. <laughs> Uh, if we do need a new topic, I don't think... Did we ever talk about it on the show, Charlie? Did you watch The Whale? Yeah, The Whale was great. Did we ever talk about it on the show? I no, watched I it. I was so. bored. I was yeah, bored. Did you like it? Right. I, watched it no. I watched it with my mom when I was hanging out with her, and I thought it was amazing. I, I thought fucking it was amazing. loved it. Yeah. It's so pretentious yeah. and boring. The, the major problem is that there isn't one, not a single character that is likable. That's the, the point. That is the assholes. entire point. That is the whole point of the movie. Okay, but it's not fun. It's not entertaining to me. It's like, That's these fine. are all assholes. That... Who am I supposed to root for? Fuck this movie. Dude, I don't need to root for someone in entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's I, a good thing. I thought it was a full masterpiece. I think the way every character was incredibly nuanced and never, like, morally good or bad. It was all ambiguous. 
I, I loved it. I Brendan absolutely Fraser loved is it. also such a good actor. It was great. Yep. Like he earned that Oscar. He did such a good fucking not job only, in that movie. Not only him, I think every single performance in that movie was how it needed to be. Yeah. It was oh I I could gush about that movie for the rest of the episode. Yeah, I thought it, it was fucking you, amazing. You'd probably no, I actually really haven't. Like it. Yeah. I've been meaning to. You haven't what? Oh yeah. I haven't seen it. watched it. I have uh, such a long yeah, Brent? backlog of movies that I need to watch. Like I haven't seen Everywhere All at Once or whatever it's called. Oh and Jesus Christ! Uh, that's next on my list. Me neither. That movie's amazing. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of movies. Isn't that, that I need yeah, to see. isn't that the one that stole the Oscar from the Whale for a lot of categories? Well, it uh, stole all the Oscars in general. It fucking okay. went crazy. <laughs> Did it win Oscar of the Year? I mean, <laughs> movie of the year. Oscar of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and the award for best award goes. To... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it won uh, movie of the year. Picture, yeah. Best yeah. picture. I I also have to say though, that even though I didn't like the movie at all, Brandon Fraser is a really good actor. That was a oh, really yeah, fun good. fun time. Yeah. Um, he fucking kills it. Maybe I'm also just not used to like seeing someone who's 600 pounds and not like it not being TLC. It was weird <laughs> having it in a drama. And also I'm trying, they do try to make you feel bad for him. But then you realize, oh, this fucker abandoned his family to go suck dick. Like fuck every character in this. And then he has a mouthy bitch daughter who's just an asshole. His best friends, the Asian lady is an asshole. The, was it the youth pastor? There's like four characters only, right? Or five. There's the yeah the youth pastor and then the ex-wife and that's every character in the movie. Oh, and the mail. Oh, it's not mail. The pizza delivery. Oh, the guy, delivery guess, pizza like, guy. Yeah, but he's five seconds and runs away. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just kind of there to just be there. Yeah, uh, he is, and I don't know why he runs away. Like, oh no, a fat person in America. Oh, so spooky. Never seen that before. <laughs> delivering pizza of all things. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that so is a good. Silly. That is genuinely a criticism. I'll agree with how a guy who's obviously delivering pizza yeah. to a shut-in <laughs> sees him and goes, "Oh God, he was a shut-in the whole time." Time. Oh, He's yikes, it's so oh. revolting. <laughs> I thought pizza only went to skinny people. <laughs> I thought he'd be rugged and handsome when he opened the door. So can you guys sell me on this movie? Like, what's the, what's the actual concept? It is a movie about the balance of hope versus delusion. And people who live their lives in a state of thinking what they're doing is right versus how other people perceive what they're doing. That's not the takeaway I got from it. It was more no. a mo no, it was it felt more like a very specific character journey about like one man's mistake coming like, like one man makes a mis it's hard to talk about it without it being a spoiler for Jackson because of like the actual core component of like why it's big, but one man dealing with grief in a very unhealthy way and refusing to change no matter what and eventually just trying to accept his fate and resign himself to the worst possible existence feeling like it's something he deserves because of his past right. sins. It's so really, is, it, is it like solely a character study of this one character? This, this no, that's, that's, it's not. It's, it's not one character, but it felt like very much a one character. Well, he takes up the majority of the yeah. screen time, yeah. But I, I think the film's about more than that. I think the film is about how all of them are doing things that in their mind they justify as right, but then the other characters voice their opinions and views on it and you get a different shaping of what they're doing. Not really, because the daughter never tries to make herself seem all that, altruistic or anything no, like that. Okay, Jackson, spoilers, because this is important. That's explicitly what happens in the movie, because Brendan Fraser reads her diary and sees what she's doing, and he goes, oh, she's such an angel. Oh, she's doing that to help people. And everyone no, else is no. like, oh, your daughter's a fucking monster. And no, that's the no, whole no, no, point no. of the that's, film. But that's not that's not true, though, because uh, she also posts all the Facebook things like, look at my fat fucking daddy. Such a fucking yeah, loser. She, she's she's a a and then he says, and then he says, <laughs> oh, she's the only one who's being honest. She's the only one telling me what it is. Yeah, but that's just his interpretation that. of it. And yeah, that's the whole point of the film. They all have different interpretations so of what everyone's doing. Is he Re desperately on remember, his daughter's side? Remember like, the pastor when she's like, oh, recording his stuff and doing these terrible things. And he's like, she he, she was trying to save me. She did that so I would go home and be forgiven. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. You saved my life. So to him, it was a good thing. To Brendan so Fraser, is, it was a good thing. Is the, way, is the whale just entirely in denial about the people around him? That's the debate of whether or not well, he truly believes what's happening or if he's in denial of what's happening. Gotcha.
Yeah. And that ties into the ending, which I won't say anything. <gasps> is the uh, ending the he stops eating he... pizza and he loses like 600 pounds? <laughs> is that the after credit scene? <laughs> He just, um, it's a, yeah, he goes on a weight loss regimen and yeah, runs the treadmill, and that's the end of the movie. Diet for the first time. <laughs> he fights Wings of Redemption in the boxing ring. It's great. Oh god, that's so good. Ooh, good tie-in. Good segue. Yeah, <laughs> that was the topic I had after this so who one. Who watched the fight versus who watched the thirty seconds that the whole fight lasted on Twitter? That's the, the same thing. When they found out that was that was a fight. <laughs> I thought it was I mean. just a beating. It was, it was it was just it was a beating, so yeah. sad. It was like actually so fucking sad. Oh my god. I'm just happy they both survived. I thought for sure there'd be some kind of like uh heart well, of course, related incident. Because Jordan survived, he didn't get touched. Well yeah. no, I just meant like even the exertion would have killed them. Yeah, well they were both cleared by medical yeah. Wings staff looked or better than Boogie, who was beat red. Like super duper red, which if you recall, he uh, chalked up to his Native American heritage, and then people told him <laughs> yeah. no, and then he admitted, yeah, okay, I have diabetes on all my blood vessels, and my face are bursting from all the pizza I eat. But he looked so red, getting punched in the face, but his whole body was red. He looked like a giant tomato. And correct me, people... correct me if I'm wrong, though. And that's because mm. his face was so red and beaten up because he not only just didn't fight back, he like barely blocked any punches. No, he just he just well, took he, them straight he, to the his face. His entire movement was like trying to push uh, wings away. Like he was just holding his yeah. hands out, trying to push him away, not flapping. actually blocking. Yeah, there was like yeah, nothing it, there. From what I he watched, it literally back. just looked like Boogie no, no was punches. just walking in circles as Wings took his sweet time punching Boogie in the <laughs> face. He's just, he's just like <laughs> using Boogie as a boxing bag, basically. Just like, <laughs> yeah, repeatedly punching him. And I, also, was, every time was, Boogie would yeah. get punched, he'd like walk away and like mouth wow, like he couldn't believe that he got punched in a boxing match. Yeah. <laughs> God, that, yeah, that was actually yeah. like infuriating to see. He like, I don't know what he was expecting, but every time he gets punched, you can see him like open his mouth going, who? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, such a wow, I can't believe you actually I, punched me. I, I, <laughs> I was, so was so looking forward to this fight. I really had. <laughs> probably more than any other YouTuber boxing match ever. I just wanted to see a big goofy throwdown between two big round dummies. But this was not a fight. This was Wings finding a new punching bag and just getting in some reps. The, I just think Boogie... Landed zero punches he he all threw, match. He threw zero punches. He actually like just held his arms out like he was trying to catch something that was falling. And the yeah, only thing he was like catching he was knuckle sandwiches. Like he wanted to anime sandwiches. catch his fist and yeah. be like, oh, you thought you could match my power and then it, start beating him. It made me upset because like it seems like Boogie didn't even bother training no, and then was still surprised at the result. Of course he no, didn't. No, you guys, it's Boogie. <laughs> He already said that he sunk so much money into his training that he's in the negative now. Where's that? No, he yeah. did not. Yeah, no shot. No shot. <laughs> There's no not. training there. Oh, okay. Oh, I found the tweet. Man. Jackson put it here. So he tweeted, I'm sure. 10k cash plus sponsor. He's talking about how much money he made. 10k yeah, cash. Yeah, by the way, 10k is like deals. super low, right? That's that seems free travel low. for something like that sounds. Depending low. on the sponsorships yeah. on top of it, that could be low or high. It depends on the other stuff around it. I don't know, free travel low. and room to London. A few perks. Is this like London in the UK? Or is this one of those Londons in America? One of the like twenty Londons. You guys <laughs> of course, have? it's the UK. <laughs> yeah, it's the UK. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just asking because in America, you guys steal everybody's fucking city names for some reason. You have like Frankfurt, yeah, Kaya's, London, Paris. Kaya's not um, wrong. There's Paris, Texas. Yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. Anyway, after perks. Uh, oh, sorry. A few perks we can't yet disclose. All the self-respect I've ever needed. After medical gear so and training, respect. I came out negative. I think in cash. So how long, how many days, how many days until Boogie puts out a tweet that says, you know, I think I didn't really throw a punch because I knew in my heart I didn't want to hurt him. And oh. I just thought I really don't like <laughs> violence and I don't want to, I didn't want to hurt him too bad. So I just said, I figured was, I'd block. He was being a bad boy. He was talking about how he's mean mugging the security and such. Right, yeah, but Boogie's a, a flip tweet. flopper. He's a flipper flopper. He changes his opinion every week. He wants to look good, of course. Yes. Yeah. He wants to look like so the hero. everyone's gonna start railing on him now, going, You didn't even fight, you didn't even train, you didn't do anything. He's like, you know, in my heart, I just didn't have it in me to hit him and he really want to do damage. Here's what he said. He said, as soon as I go in the ring, I got punched once and then went into defense mode. 
And I'm like, no, you didn't. There was no defense there either. You just got hit repeatedly. Also, I, oh, I would like to man. point out that at some point, apparently his uh, boxing shorts started falling down and they had oh, to yeah. tape them. To they had to take like a 15 second break in the middle of a round. It was, it was oh. already like a short uh, match. Like they were like shortened matches of three three rounds at one minute each. They didn't last that. Well, Boogie didn't last that. He It was like one 45 second round. And then a second, like, 10-second round before the ref was like, oh, shit, I feel bad. <laughs> We've got to stop this. He's turning this red. He's on the, on the fucking attack. flip side, on the fucking flip side, props to Wings of Redemption. Because he, yeah. he, he took it seriously. Yeah, he, really he took did. it seriously. He went in, he did his job, he won the fight. Like, I have nothing goofy to say about him at all. Boogie with his fucking pants and getting his face fucking beaten and all his comments like... Like, come on, man. But Wings, Wings came in and fought. And, yeah, I don't, yeah. You see, you see, I don't know how much of that good. is uh, on Wings or on Boogie just not putting up any kind of fight. Like, no, it's I think fairly it's very, easy to just slap <laughs> nah, someone around, right? I think it's very clear Liquid Richard, like, actually trained. Like, he mm -hmm. actually he tried. He might not name? have gotten they super, call, call super high Richard. skill <laughs> or super really good, but he definitely had the basics. He had stance. Yeah. He had punches. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems like he actually used that 10k for training, maybe. Yeah, he well, tried. Wings, he gave a shit. He also has something to fight for, right? Everybody has seen that famous clip of Wings, like, whimpering like a beat puppy because he didn't make enough money for his weight loss surgery. Boogie already had that, so he doesn't really have anything to gain. But Wings, with the money he made from this, he could get that surgery now if he hasn't. <laughs> yeah, I, want to see happen. The, I want to see Wings go against Ethan Ralph now. I hope they make oh, that happen. Oh, fuck. That'd be a crazy match. It's like, Do you think Ethan know who would, would ever take training for boxing seriously enough to ever get any sort of uh, what routine in? Like, He'd would probably it ever piss happen? off his instructor and get his ass beat like again <laughs> and have to just keep cycling new well, instructors. Well, the one thing I will give Ethan is like he can take a punch and just keep getting up. He just keeps getting up to get punched more. So he would never tap out like Boogie did. <laughs> and I don't think even the ref would ever call it. Like, Ethan did is Boogie just a tap human out? punch sponge. No, he, hmm? Boogie didn't like instruct him to. That's just, it's a boxing rule. He wasn't defending himself. He was just no, taking know, a lot I of know. completely undefended blows. Yeah, just I know, I'm just saying, like, the ref would look yeah. at yeah. Ralph getting up and up and up again and giving the middle finger and yelling, bitch, oh. come at me, bitch. And he would just let him, yeah, okay, good. He's Kaya. fun to fight, I guess. Hmm. Kaya, did you read the other tweet of Boogie? Another one in his nice little excuse repertoire where he said, mm -hmm. the reason I was counted out is it was the second round, and by score, I could only win with a knockout. So the ref yeah. decided I just shouldn't even keep fighting anymore. Yeah, bullshit. That's not uh, what it was at all. It was he wasn't <laughs> defending himself, and he, was, he can't just doing keep doing defended blows. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. when he's getting that count out for that one, you can see he's pretty glassy eyed. He's just kind of not really focused. You know, he's just kind of out of it. He posted training videos beforehand. I don't know if he posted any with an actual person, but his form of training was just hitting a boxing bag every time he would walk by by his TV, and that was his training. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't really know how serious he was taking it. Yeah, that's a good point. I've, I only saw a couple of the, the, tra the training montages, I guess. But did he have a trainer? Did, did I someone don't know. teach him? Because I, I never saw any of that footage. Whereas I only ever Richard, saw him, like, like, hit a dummy. Yeah, that's, I, the, that's what I'm talking about. He just had a dummy by a TV and he would just stand there punching yeah. it while filming it. I really doubt he did any training, uh, though. Purple in the chat has filled me in on Ethan Ralph replying to one of Boogie's tweets. He says, see, this is the kind of deal I would never do, LMFAO. Keem is straight robbing motherfuckers did the same to dumbass Abortsky. I would never take a fight to lose money. That's the exact opposite of how you are supposed to approach the business as a fighter. Keem is a crook. 10K that's more on boogie push. that's not on but team still, yeah <laughs> don't take the deal then <laughs> also, no fight to lose. Negative afterwards also in that in that um was it in that tweet about the financial breakdowns where boogie said another thing this cost me was all the self-respect i've ever earned no he said was he got self-respect he said he earned self-respect oh from it. okay never mind somehow I, I, never mind i thought he was saying that it cost him well, the his fact that he stepped in there is still like an achievement like you is can be it? proud of that he put yeah. he didn't put up any fight he, he put i think yeah, he really but, stepped okay, in there just everybody everybody on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Flake. 
That is true. Hang yeah. on, hang on. The thing that could be self-respect is it doesn't matter how well he does. It's if he took the loss on the chin like he did the punches. If he went in there and got his ass beat, and like after it was over, said, "Oh, great fight, wings. He you did. know, you trained harder than I did." But but no, he did. And then he followed it up with, "Here's why I lost, and here's how much it cost me." And well, well, the it's people like, were asking about like how much it cost. I to be guess. fair, that he didn't just bring that up. I'll give credit where credit is due. He did like they both didn't flake. I, I, I'll True. Give that. Yeah. True. True. But you could have put. You People paid for this shit and people were watching it. You could have put in a bit more he, effort to actually he, fighting. He should have put effort into training. Like, I understand yeah. Mike Tyson's famous quote that everyone loves to toss around is very true. Everyone has a plan to get punched in the face. That is absolutely undoubtedly the first time Boogie has ever been punched. So when that happened, he didn't know what to do anymore. <laughs> that is wild to me. Considering you're going into like... a boxing match, the first thing I would do is like say to a friend, hey, punch me with a thing on. So I, at least I know how it <laughs> he, feels. Like I said... I don't think he had a trainer. I don't think he had anyone teach him anything. He probably that, just watched like old true, boxing though? movies. I don't think that's like anyone's he watched first Rocky. reaction to being punched for the first time. That was going wow and doing like no, so absolutely. Is. About it. Oh no, oh, yeah, that, that is absolutely is. how most people will respond huh. to a punch. That's how I'd respond it's to like a shock. punch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Have, you ever, sure? have you ever that's suddenly been like... hit? Have you ever Actually, suddenly been hit shot by something like a? Almost in, indignant, like, how dare you punch me? Oh, no, 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 yeah. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I meant it more like uh, once he got punched, like, he could no longer, you know, think for himself anymore. He just panicked. <laughs> no, I, I totally see that. Have you ever been hit suddenly in the head by something like a ball in, like, a gym or something? And your first Too instinct isn't pain. It's to go, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I get that. I get him going wild. But this wasn't, totally this wasn't random. Again, this was he should have been expecting a punch. <laughs> it's a boxing match. Yeah, it should have been. It wasn't just <laughs> a straight <laughs> ball. In I can't believe you hit me. <laughs> I thought we were just going to dance around each other and hug it out. I, I do yeah, say it was, like, it was a whole event where he was told, you are going to get punched in the face now. Three, two, one, go. Punch. And you know what? You know still what? He's still shocked wow. Pikachu face. Yeah. You know what I bet he thought going into this? I have no doubt. I bet he thought he was like straight up the main character. He'd go in there and just like overwhelm Liquid Richard with his offense that like he'd never even experience a punch. He'd be untouchable. He'd be like dodging it like rain. I don't know. Just do something. Like stop pushing him away. Just uh, like do the windmill. Like spin your arms around in a circle. I don't know. Try to land one blow. Yeah, I think Should the fact that he didn't fight. even the, the fact he didn't even throw punches at like that would haunt me for the rest of my yeah. life. There's no <laughs> self-respect there. Like you did the hard like honestly, you did the hardest part of getting into the ring. All you needed to do was just get like one punch on the board, or at least an attempted punch. That's are all. You, and it, the hardest everything part else would have been fine. You are already getting punched. Might as well punch back. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. To lose at this point. You could like sumo wrestle it too, like just like bounce it with your belly or something. Just you know? do anything. Like, <laughs> if you if you didn't have the capability to throw a punch, just fucking charge him. Like go out with yeah. like an illegal move or something. Like anything. Yeah. yeah do like Put a some w kind of fight instead of saying wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy it happened. Memes a lot. I Me want too. it to happen. I do want it to happen again. Um, and Me too. Yeah. Boogie actually put up a fight. <laughs> I mean, I also would love him to not put up a fight again because I think that would be double as funny. <laughs> like he goes in less prepared somehow. Um, yeah, he d he fatter. does say he wants. He does say that he wants to do it again. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I, he needs a trainer. Like he absolutely needs a trainer. Like God, please, just get a trainer. Why did that? Why would you not do that for this one? Why would you not? Like I said, why would you not just get a friend to punch you in the face so you know what it feels like at least? Like, that's the first thing I would do if I was signing. I would do it before I said yes to signing up to this, just so I know what I'm dealing Let with. Let the dummy hit you in the face. Like, swing it back and then just headbutt it or something. Let it punch you in the mouth. You need to know what it's going to feel like, right, before you hop in. Well, he does now, so he might be better prepared next time. Also, he needs better shorts that don't fall down. He, he built up his he built up his immunity to punches, so he'll be like really <laughs> good next time around. God, he's so red compared to Wings. Yeah, he really is. Who's older? Oh, Boogie. Boogie's almost fifty. Wings is like thirty-two. Oh, okay. Thirty-two. No. Wow. Well, he, he's he's like mid thirties. I'm guessing as to what the exact age is, but he's mid thirties. And yet, physically, they look the same. 
They do. Boogie yeah. looks like really good for his age. He really does. Mm. I what? Can see that. What, what did you just say? He looks good for his age. Like he doesn't look fifty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Disagree. He really does. I, yeah. Charlie means <laughs> not yeah, in like his so. weight or physique, is. but in like well, his yeah, like just his, his appearance. Like he doesn't yeah. look fifty. I get what Charlie's saying. Yeah. I could, I could see it. Like the example, actual face itself. Yeah. Mm, I feel like you think fifty-year-olds look older than they actually look in real life. I mean, maybe, I, I guess. No, I, he looks fifty to me. I don't know. Yeah, me so too. I think maybe in your face. head you're comparing him to like seventy-year-olds, or you have very low expectations because it's Boogie and he should be dying or something. I think something that aids Charlie's point is, and I, I don't know if it's because he dyes it or whatever, but he barely has gray hair. It's like in his beard, and, and even he, then, not and really. And since his teeth were all fucking rotted, he got like a brand new set of like really healthy looking teeth. Like, I just think overall he looks... Dentures like old people, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn good point. <laughs> Veneers, I think is what they're Veneers, called, right? yeah. Yeah. I, I would say he looks like he's... If I'm going to be, like, generous, like, 40s. Nothing below 40s. I won't go any lower. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not looking like a fucking 19-year-old boy or anything, but, like, he doesn't... He really, to me, doesn't look 50. Like, I think he looks... Well, wait, that's because he's not 50. He's 48. That, okay. <laughs> now we're getting there. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 He's not 50 yet. <laughs> now you're being pedantic. I'm right. He's in his 40s. I guess maybe, maybe the fat actually does make him look younger because you look like more of a baby in the face. Like, you still have those mm -hmm. full, fat cheeks. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's not exactly what, what I was thinking. Well, it's like how if you look at Tammy Slayton, she looks like a giant toddler. That sort of thing, you know? Oh, oh yeah, I, mean, I, can, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad it happened. Me too. I, I'm glad that the entire fight fits into one clip that you can clip anywhere. You can literally <laughs> yeah. just clip the entire fight into Discord. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you cut down to only the action and include the official weight announcements, it's still an under two minute fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and also including Boogie readjusting his pants. <laughs> Like, yeah. regardless, regardless of how it played out and what was going on and all that, I am very glad this event happened. It was yeah. very nice. Did you watch mm -hmm. any of the other fights or only the boogie one? Just the boogie, Just and wings the boogie one. I didn't even yeah. know there, was even other know there were other fights at first. <laughs> <laughs> there were. There was one fight. Um, it was Korn versus some other guy on Twitter. Korn's like a really big Twitter account. That fight got memed on really hard because kind of like Boogie, it didn't seem like Korn trained at all. So the punches he, were th he was like throwing actually looked kind of like what Boogie was doing. So he's been getting clowned on endlessly for it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole thing was kind of built up like a, like a circus boxing match. So it was actually kind of interesting. What do you mean a circus boxing match? Like people that like very silly right. matchups that make no sense. Oh, the at entire all. event, uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The entire right. event was like that. Well, yeah, that does seem like something that Keem would do. And to be fair, it does draw interest. Like it, I, I, mean, I was interested in it. It's it's entertaining. I mean, it is like it's not good boxing by any means. It's no. not good fighting by any means. But <laughs> goddamn, it's it's entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the the whole boxing arc that YouTube is going through currently. It spices things up a little bit. I, I hated it at first, but I've really grown to enjoy it a lot. Like when people put effort into it, it's like actually exciting. And when they don't put effort into it, it's really entertaining still. Yeah. It's entertaining when they don't take themselves too seriously. Even yeah. when they do though, like some of the fights have been like really good. Like for example, a creator clash with Harley versus uh John Morrison. Like mm -hmm. Harley got blasted out of the ring. <laughs> like Twice. That shit, yeah, that shit was crazy. Was that on, yeah, but was also, that like uh, planned or anything? Was that like no, something that Harley no, planned? No, he landed on the sound guy. <laughs> like that guy was like <laughs> mid fifties. Like he could have actually just killed him. <laughs> I yeah. still remember after that happened. After I met you 
After all the events for the first time that day, I said, Charlie, you almost got killed by Harley and the genuine look of terror on your face when I brought that back up. No, it was, it was actually super scary because he fucking ragdolled him out of the ring onto the guy next to me. <laughs> How does that happen? Because John Morrison's very, there's, very strong. And there's a seven, six foot seven man doing a bunch of movement and foot shuffling yeah. and trying to dodge punches and he gets hit and loses balance. It's that simple. At least it wasn't boogie rolling down on you. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, man, the ring would have collapsed at that point. Would have been like the boulder in uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what else happened this week? Um, well, do we want to save it for our bonus episode? Yeah, we, we can we can, we can can do it in the bonus stuff tomorrow. Yeah, I think that was a good sure. episode with a lot of interesting stuff. Zelda and Boogie talk. It's always a good yeah, combination. Yeah, I don't think we're going to top wings versus Boogie this episode. No. Not at all. All right, we're going to wrap there. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the official podcast bonus episodes at patreon.com slash the official podcast with stuff like Potifiles, the brand new show Kai and I are doing where we delve into To Catch a Predator. Uh, episode <laughs> By the way, I wanted to uh, say, so Google Voice says the transcription thing where somebody calls in and it transcribes their voicemail automatically. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. Google doesn't know how to spell Potifiles, so... Imagine my surprise when I woke up and I saw this transcription. I, uh, it says, hey, I just wanted to say that if that I would actually pay for a bigger tier just for pedophiles. <laughs> and then it continues and just praises our show. But <laughs> it took me a second to like, oh, he's talking about pedophiles. Hopefully. <laughs> the name strikes again. That's a great name. <laughs> it really is. I, I'd pay an even higher tier if you guys called it We Are Pedophiles. Oh. Like, no, We Are Pedophiles, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll take it. I'll accept that one. Wait, Kaya, did we have any, uh, any kind of feedback on last week's question of the shitting? Just, just to put a bow on it. Uh, you just got more support. I didn't even bother pulling any anymore. Uh, more oh, wait, did you count? support. Dude, we had like 65 new voicemails since last week, and they were pretty much all on your side. I've also noticed that we have a lot of squat shitters in our audience. People who... Um, what? People who, if they're in a public toilet, they squat on top of the toilet lid, so only their feet touch the lid. What? They're basically what? doing an ass to grass Oh, squat. God, what, what the what? fuck is wrong what with you? What the fuck? Who what do you mean, that? what is wrong with you? That's so weird. Yeah, Even what? the naked shitter thinks that's weird. That's how weird that is. <laughs> yeah, you even have Jackson the naked shitter thinking it's weird. That that's well in a public toilet. That's how you avoid your ass touching it. But the foot on can, the toilet bowl. Yeah, but you're so you're crouched over like a gargoyle on the actual toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, I understand the physics Jesus of this. Christ. No, it can't be that. That makes no physical sense. No, they have no, to be no, just no, squatting no over the bowl, which would yeah, make it has to be that's hover fine. shitting. It, yeah, yeah, that's it's, fine. It's, it's hover shitting for sure. No, Actually, it's not, it's you, sure. you don't put your legs okay, on the on. bowl. You'd be shitting on the top of the fucking where the where the plunger is or whatever it's called. Yeah, and that's also just... like the deepest. That's the deepest squat of all time. There's no way. What do you mean? People can squat like that? Not it's comfortably not and not with perfect balance while shitting. You just Isn't risk that how like the Japanese falling in. shit. Not, but that's they hover. what. What? That's that's not. The they same. hover over. They hover over the floor. That's different. It, 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 How is yeah, that different than on, hovering over the toilet? You're still standing on something. You're not flying. You're not balancing. You, it, it, on you a, have like less a, room to stand on as well. Yeah, like on a Japanese toilet, like you are crouching over the the floor, like the toilet, which is... It's not going to be you. that hard to balance on a toilet seat. It's not v wobbling, hopefully. Like, let me just... How would it not one, be? It's, it's, go, it's, go try it, Kai. I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah I'm Take very, a picture of you ch trying on the... Not, don't get naked or anything, because we might put it in the episode. Go s squat hang on your on, toilet. On. Have your Where's have your wife button? take a photo of it. <laughs> like I'm perched like a fucking bird on like the toilet. That's what you're saying. That's there's a it's big not difference what I'm between I'm saying a fucking retard, it's a voicemail. Okay, everybody shut up. Here. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I'm leaving a message uh, regarding your mo most recent episode uh, where you were speaking to Jackson about sitting naked. Um, I'm actually a squat shitter. I, I like to take my pants fully off and squat down on the seat and, and shit like that. It, it, it's so much better. Your asshole's completely open. It's, everything falls right out. 
that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. That's not. He didn't say anything about putting his legs on the yeah, toilet bowl. He, I, yeah, he didn't mention anything like putting his legs on the toilet seat. What he he says? I squat down on the seat. Like over it, he means like he's yeah. asshole is just hovering like over he's, it. Like it, it's hover shitting. Pants fully off and squat down on the seat. You you think he puts his legs? Strings. You you think it's like the way you describe it? Like, analyze it. Okay, feet feet on the toilet bowl is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's weird. That's super yeah. weird. That like no one, that, no one would do that. In that picture that someone just posted in the chat, I, I don't know if we can get this up on the podcast in any way, but it's basically yeah, so okay, a diagram I'm thinking of all the figure ways. five and six is what I thought. Yeah, no, meant. what the yeah, fuck? No. no, 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 no one does that. There's no shot like that. That is an extremely hard squat liter- in general. I have literally You've done seen that? what? Oh, I thought you were going to say you've done that. Yeah, I, no, you were I, I have been in that. toilets. I have been in toilets where they had the no squat shitting sign with the number six there, the number six figure crossed out saying, "Don't do this." That's gonna be a meme, right? No, or a joke. <laughs> people who, do I, this. I, who? I don't know. People. What the fuck? How, how I the don't, fuck? I've I don't never do heard this, of anyone but doing I know that. It is a thing. Why? Why are you attacking me like I do this? I'm just saying it is a thing people do. Well, then, people. wait. Is it like a? Is it a cultural thing? Is it like a Turkish thing? I don't know. I mean, Turks also have squat shit toilets. Yeah. It's, there's right. a difference between a squat shit <laughs> toilet and a normal yeah. toilet that you squat shit on like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah, not. But I would understand that. if. What do you mean not built for it? It's still. The toilet isn't like on a one wheel. Look, do you kind of. The point. The, the, the thing you're talking about is in a meme picture where nine and zero, the person's literally in the toilet bowl. He's sitting in there. So I don't think it's something that's meant to be like a serious. Uh, pose okay, that you're a, meant to do again, while shitting. I didn't post that photo. I don't care. But still, it's in the there. Of it I don't know why you're giving me shit like I came up with this. Because well, you're the I'm one defending saying, this. It is a thing that I have heard of. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying it happens. <laughs> it exists. Just like I'm not defending murder, but murder happens. It's a thing that it, people do. Okay, what do you wait. Mean? So, it, what do you mean people? How common is it? That's what I'm arguing. I don't think it's I common don't at all. I fucking know. I'm just saying it's, it's a not- thing. You guys said no one has ever done this ever. I'm telling right, well, you, one no, one one does does this. no one actively does it. There, I'll yeah. rephrase. Nobody does yeah. that actively. Or one person does it, or two, maybe. It's like such no, a rarity. Not even. Not even. I don't think. Okay, call, call in, I guess, if you're a squat shitter, but squatting on the toilet bowl with your feet planted like on the feet toilet on bowl. It. Yeah, yes. up on the bowl. I actually well, don't think touching the ground. Thing. Because I'm curious now. I, I, w- I want to know if this is really a thing. 404 913 3858. Or if you know anybody do, who does wait, this. No, but the people are just going to call and say that they do that yeah, just for exactly. the meme. Oh my god, now, you, now you're coping like Charlie coped last week. Oh yeah, true. About well, it's, the, right. it's just the, it's the fucking truth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Use you your full name minded. so that it's applied to your full name and then maybe they won't get... Wait, oh, someone posted a Freely yeah, the Banana just... Girl video and she is doing that. Maybe it's a vegan thing. It makes sense if you're like a woman, I guess, if you can't squat that deep. I mean, women have an easier time with their flexibility. It's an easy squat for them. And if you can do it, why not? I usually piss when I shit as well, though. So it's, that shit would be flying everywhere, right? Well, yeah, think, most people yeah, piss when they true. shit. That go yeah. everywhere. Huh. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever in my life taken a shit without pissing as yeah. well. I don't, I don't think, even think so, it's yeah. physically possible, right? It's difficult, maybe achievable with practice, but... Yeah. Yeah. But why would you practice like if I, that? <laughs> especially if I was a girl, like, uh, Freely the Banana Girl in that pose, like, she's squatting over. I could see how the shit would go in the bowl, but that, that piss is going to be spraying all over the cubicle, right? Yeah, it pointed downwards. Be. All over the cubicle? Yeah, Do you shit in your office? Well, there's still <laughs> cubicles. Yeah, what? That, oh, what are they called? Oh, 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 I still thought we were talking about, like, just in home. I, I forgot oh, we no. could be referring to public bathrooms with their little stall. Yeah, okay. You have a cubicle? I cubicle? thought you meant, like, in the office cubicle. Like, she was spraying piss everywhere. You think I have an office cubicle at home? Yeah, with a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't think this would be so controversial, but yeah. The one you didn't think that would be it. controversial? No, I guess I didn't. I mean, you guy, call in again, you the squat shitter that called in. Clarify. You whose number ends in 2320. Call in again. 
tell us what you meant. Do you hover shit or do you actually squat on top of the toilet? <laughs> now we need to know. Thank he's you. A, he, he's, he hover shits, no doubt in my mind. There's yeah, no safe. one that would be squatting on that, especially not a man. Because like you mentioned, like the piss physics don't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? It would be easier for a man to piss straight down than for a woman. If you're dick- It would be. Yeah, I mean, well, we can easier aim it. than a woman. We can but aim it still it just doesn't make doesn't make it easy. Like it still doesn't check yeah, out. Yeah, it wouldn't make it easy. I mean, yeah, that squat isn't comfortable unless you've been trained for a while. <laughs> <laughs> trained by professional okay, fitness goals. I don't know why shitting is so controversial on our show, but I guess there's yeah, a lot of well, we're, we're going we're going through our shit arc at the moment. <laughs> this is something we talked about a long time ago. Uh, the bathroom, like potty time is the only time where you pretty much like figure things out on your own so everyone cooks up the wackiest fucking ideas and the ways that they like relieve themselves it's is that the true i mean think about it like you do you emulate your parents shitting and pissing techniques do your no, parents but i'm sure they told me when i was younger how to like yeah operate have the to toilet teach you. maybe but yeah. you still at the end of the day do it by yourself like the entire so time you develop your own up. habits yeah you develop but then, your own that doesn't techniques. make sense how like 99 percent of us shit the same way just well there's only so many up. different ways of approaching it you're not gonna have someone like you know an upside down shitter or something well, there's why just all right maybe yeah. not upside down but why doesn't anyone like, face the wall and shit like sit the other way around they probably like straddle it Go back to exhibit A again. That that is one of them on the graph on the chart. Oh yeah, true. Number three. So they they there might be sitting over the toilet through the like reverse cowgirl trial one. and error. People just come to the conclusion for the most optimal way of shitting, the normal way, naked. Like that's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. Uh, See you next week. Call yeah, well, that was a long outro. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very long outro. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.